Hello everyone and welcome back to this video uh, using the hex editor and looking at the uh, the templates. Now one of the things we noticed here is we can see that this shows us the type of the bitmap file type, okay? And here it shows us that this is the size, these represent the size. Now let's look at one thing over here. Let's open our browser and let's go to file types okay uh, or file structures actually i think we need to look at file structures yeah let's do what did i do okay file structure file structures there should be one really good website and we use that a lot Mm. why is yeah this one file signatures okay so uh this website from which is created by gary uh, kessler i hope i mentioned uh, gary's name correctly uh so if we go search for bmp let's say so if we search for bmp okay you can see that the bmp file okay the bitmap image it will start with 424D. So if we go back here, we can see that this bitmap file really starts with 424D, exactly like this, uh, uh, like this file. This website is telling you. Okay, this website, by the way, explains all uh, most of the. I would say the file structures. It's very rare that you won't file find the file structure and some. I mean, especially the signatures of it or the headers. Uh, so it's very uh, uncommon not to find it over here, but at the end, some new file might uh, appear and Gary has not added that yet. So keep also that in mind. And it also tells you here bytes two to five contain the file length in little Indian order. So it's also telling us that bytes two to five, right? These are representing what the uh, the file size in little Indian. So these are all the, the file size in Little Indian. If you look at the size, by the way, here, when we switch to Big Indian, it got completely read, uh, read incorrectly. Why? Because the data got interpreted incorrectly. So we also need to make sure we are interpreting the data uh, correctly. Otherwise, we will get a different result. So there's a difference between uh, 22,554 and between this number that we are seeing currently. Okay, so please keep that in mind because this is very important uh, when you are understanding uh, this. Also, if we take another example, since we are on Gary Kessler's website, let's just close this. And let's look, for example, at the EXE. So let's search for EXE. So where is the EXE? Yeah. So we can see the EXE has uh, the MZ header in ASCII. And it starts with 4D5A. So if we go back, we can see the EXE. This is our EXE, okay? And it starts with 4D5A. We will we will load the template, by the way, for this one in future videos. But for now, I just wanted to open another, just any other file, and look at it in uh, our 010 editor. Let's see what else do we have. Uh, let's say any compress file. Let's just compress a file, by the way. Let's just create a compressed file. So let's do this. Okay. And now load the compressed file over here. So we have a, a zip file. So let's search again, Gary Kessler's website and search for zip file. So we can see the zip file uh, starts with 54B0304. So let's look at that. It starts with 54B, 54B, and then it starts with what? also 0304 so you can see these are the signatures when we see 50 40 that's 4b sorry 0304 it means we are looking at what a zip file okay so these are very important by the way I, I know this is not by the way structure the template for a zip file this is the template for a zip file so we can now see that this is actually the template for a zip file we can see that this is the signature 
see it's telling you the signature it's telling you where it starts where it ends it's four bytes actually okay and it's telling you all of the other details about this file so this is the zip file record that's how the structure is this is the zip file directory and probably this is uh, where we will know what files are inside in in our in our scenario here because we only had one file so we only are seeing one file in there but if there were others we were we would probably uh, see them so these really will be very helpful when you try to understand structures of a binary file okay or when you are trying to also do file carving from some unallocated disk space again that's it for this video see you in the next one